everyone so I just got here to SFO right now I'm sorry I know I didn't film it all the last couple days as I was in San Francisco I just really want to spend quality time with the family so let me go ahead and get inside the airport really quick then I'll see you guys in a second peace all right guys so we are here on a terminal right now, I'm in Terminal 2. I'm actually taking Alaskan Airlines, which is kind of cool. Um, I'm here a little bit early because I was worried about traffic. Uh, but yeah, man, it's been quite a journey being here for Thanksgiving with the family. I can't wait to go back home and start working. But let me get inside really, really quick. guys so um, I'm here in the airport right now actually I didn't realize I had a VIP pass that actually allowed me to skip the security line I think it's because I'm flying first class for the first time and that might be one of the reasons but um yeah man it's been I had such a great time here in San Francisco literally for the last couple days we're at home watching movies every single day uh, we ended up not going to the Warriors game which is totally fine because they got destroyed in that game so we saved a lot of money uh, but other than that man um yeah I just had a good time with the family my plane is actually about to board right now so so let me get on the plane. I'll see you guys in a second again. For the record, I'm done trying to make y'all comfortable. For the record, you ain't trying to grow, then it's done for you. For the record, lab on me going all the way. For the record, ain't trying to link no time to wait. guys I'm here back at work right now I'm back here in Southern California I came back from San Francisco and it has been crazy busy man um, it's good to be back home to be honest um, actually I am getting off work right now there's again there's literally <laughs> Here, I'm in the middle of the office. There's literally no one here. And so I was here with my boss until 6.30, which is now trying to solve this bog. Try, bog. Okay, this camera's heavy. <laughs> but yeah, so we're here just talking about stuff. But one of the things that we also talked about was how, you know, there are certain things that people can do that can help you get a job, right? There are things that certain people can do, even if you're not as qualified, to make you stand out. And I thought that this was very interesting to talk about because, oh, hold on. <laughs> the reason I'm talking about this right now is because it, it kind of changed my perspective in regards to how hiring managers look at resumes when they're looking for a developer. And I kind of got like an inside scoop and I want to share this with you guys right now. Like these little, not secrets, but these are things that no, not many people know because like how many developers out there are hiring managers and so it really gave me an inside view on what people are looking for hiring managers or bosses or companies looking for when people are applying for example when you think about it there are hundreds there are thousands of people like you and me learning code right now right there are thousands of people trying to get a job whenever these hiring managers put out an ad on those websites 
it seems like almost instantly what will happen, they'll get maybe hundreds, if not 100, 200, maybe 50, 75, pretty much a lot of applications. But the question then is, right, what is it that you need to do to stand out? What is it that you need to do to make sure that as a hiring manager, pretend that's you, you receive hundreds of emails, what are the few little things that someone could do to make sure you can stand out? For example, I asked them, one of the few things someone can do to make sure they stand out is number one, a cover letter. More than just a cover letter, a cover letter that's very personalized. The cover letter that can show that you have actual interest because when a hiring manager receives hundreds of different of different applications, I mean you literally see almost the same kind of application. You see all these different names, some of them you can't read. You see some people out from our state, some people are in the state but maybe from they live far away from where you are, right? Those are the small things they can use to differentiate if they should hire you or not. But even more than that, what a cover letter does is it shows that you took the extra effort. And what I mean by this, so let's say, let's say, let's say that you don't even qualify as much as other people. Let's say there's people who are very qualified, but let's say even if you don't qualify, there is a chance, a really good opportunity that if you write a good cover letter, that could up your chances of even at least getting an interview of them considering you. Because you have to think about it, more than even just your skills, what are they looking for are people who can fit the company, right? But now, okay, now, even more than that, what a cover letter does is that it shows things that a resume can't show. For example, like what my boss actually mentioned, a cover letter shows that you can take, you take initiative or you really want it. There are people who will not send a cover letter. That means they don't really care. Then why would that hiring manager want to interview them? But now, like even more than that, what's really interesting, and I kind of know this, this is actually what I did to get my first developer job, which is something I kind of didn't really emphasize in my last videos is this. Now one thing, okay, one thing that I did to actually help me get my first developer job, when I actually sent in my first resume to my first developer job, no one got back to me. So what did I do to make sure that I could have a fighting chance to even get the job because no one got back to me. I called the company. I asked for the CEO and I told them, I'm a developer. I see that this is how your company is like. You guys have these values. I have the exact same values. I know I'm not the best one out there, but I showed them pretty much how much I wanted a job. That is why she was willing to meet me at the office when they were closed. And because I did a follow-up call to my email to see if they received my actual resume, that Saturday he gave me the job. Okay. So this is what I'm honestly really trying to say. What extra effort are you making or are you doing to make you stand out? These hiring managers literally receive hundreds and hundreds of emails, applications. They receive, they hear the exact same thing. They read the exact same kind of, this is why you should hire me resume all the time. But what is it that you're doing to stand out? Why are people not responding to your emails, to your applications? Maybe because you're not showing that you want it bad enough. So this is why you're not getting hired right now. It's because you're not putting that extra effort. When you send an actual application, are you making a follow-up call? Are you taking the time, if it's a company you really wanna work for, are you actually taking the time to actually write a good cover letter? Now I'm gonna end up making a cover letter video next week in regards to, you know, let's say there's an X amount of company I wanna to apply to, right? And what is it that I can write about based on what I see on their website or their YouTube videos that can make me stand out? What are you doing to do that? So this is gonna be a really quick video, but I pretty much really want to emphasize more on my last video on regards to, you know, why is it that maybe you're not getting that interview and what you're not doing that you can do to make sure you could get that next step, which is land an interview to bring you just a little bit closer to landing your first developer job. But anyways, guys, it is late. It's about seven o'clock now. I need to head out and go home. Uh, I'm heading out and I'll see you guys later next week. And if you made it this far this, to the end of this video, please let me know in the comment section below. Like this video if you haven't. If you never liked something, like it just to, to show me some love, man. And just, if not, it's all good. At least it's scrapped. <laughs> anyway, guys, I got to head out. Um, I'm literally here by myself again. So I'm going to end the video here. This is Krishan. This is LifeWare Developer. I'm out. Peace.